thing. There's some very promising cancer cures that are out there, which AI produced. Uh, they're looking very promising. Uh, the next few years is going to be remarkable for medicine. We had 190,000 proteins done by people uh, in 2022. 2023, AlphaFold2 did 200 million. Basically, every protein and how they fold, uh, every protein that's used in humans and, and every other species on Earth, uh, done in a few months. Uh, and we're going to be able to go through uh, cures for diseases at the same rate. So we're going to simulate trials digitally. Uh, it'll be much safer. It'll be a million times faster. Um, and by the end of this decade, as we go into the 2030s, we're going to achieve a new milestone. It's called longevity escape velocity. Let me say that again, because you're going to be hearing a lot about that. Longevity escape velocity. Right now, you go through a year, and you use up a year of your longevity. However, scientific progress is also progressing, which is actually bringing us back. It's giving us cures for diseases, new forms of treatment. So right now, you're getting back about four months. So you lose a year, you get back four months, so you're losing eight months. However, the scientific progress is on an exponential. It's going to get faster and faster. And as we get to the early 2030s, let's say between 2029 and 2035, depending on how diligent you are, uh, you're going to get back a full year. So you lose a year, you get back a year, as we actually go past that point, you'll actually get back uh, more than a year, and you'll go backwards in time, uh, which would be cool. Um, <laughs> now, some people are concerned we're going to run out of resources. Uh, and actually, if we just went ahead and didn't make any new resources, we would run out of resources, like energy, for example. Uh, but this is not happening in a vacuum. Uh, AI is revolutionizing everything. For example, we only have to connect um, one part in 10,000 of the sunlight that falls on the Earth to meet all of our energy needs. It's plenty of headroom. Uh, and that's growing exponentially, and we'll achieve that within 10 years. And 